Hi, we're the Walter and Pexa families, and we have three generations currently attending UDLC. We joined around 1998, and we were looking for something more in our Sunday school and youth programs than the Methodist Church, which we had previously um, belonged to. I feel like the first time I felt like I really belonged is when um, I actually started choosing to go to things instead of being strongly encouraged by my parents. Um, so I went to women's Bible study with my mom on Wednesday mornings, and then my parents went off on a three-month journey around the country just for fun, and I kept going to women's Bible study, so I worked a night shift and came in and went to women's Bible study Wednesday morning, and it had been a really, really, really bad shift, and I just needed a mom, and it was like a whole room of moms, and um, that's when I felt like I really had a place here. I've always, I've always felt welcome here. Um, I remember starting, I can't remember how long ago it was, but helping with the uh, blood pressure Sundays. Uh, people, people remembered me and would ask how I'm doing. Um, it used to be referred to as Becky's friend. Um, and over time, obviously, having been married here, you know, over two years ago, um, that was very welcoming, and I'll never forget the first time I went to take communion with Pastor George. He remembered my name, um, and I don't know that I really talked to him that much, so um, you know, that was a good sense of feeling for me. I think when I turned 16, it was the first time I did the Appalachian Service Project, where we went to Appalachia, Virginia, and that was just a really cool experience to you know feel and you know have all the other families there and all the other kids and get to do something you know, that you didn't really have to do, but you felt like you wanted to do it. Um, and it helped other people out that weren't as fortunate as all of us. What we appreciate most about UDLC, uh, for me, it's that there's something for everybody here. No matter what your talent, whether it's singing or cooking or taking blood pressures, whatever, there's always something, there's something for everybody. Thank you, Kim. Um, but most of all, it's the people that pray for others. There's something special about having a group of people that know what's going on, so you don't always have to tell them, but they'll come up and ask how things are going, and they know the backstory and know um, that there's just an extra layer of support. It's like a whole other family that's not related to us. So with Jim's cancer, it's been very helpful to know that there's other people out there who care about them. <laughs> I think it's why I've done so well too, because of all the support that I know people are giving me here at the church. I've been there for It's like a close-knit family. You know, everybody cares about everybody else. It's very inclusive. Well, why, why we support <laughs> Why we support the church is because we feel it's kind of a, a lighthouse to our community for uh, kind of a beacon of uh, God's uh, of God's love and, uh, for us and for each other. The other thing I find is, is when you're having trouble, like I've had like cancer issues and stuff, and it's nice to come here because a lot of people you can talk to that walk those same roads of troubles in your life and stuff, and they're they're very well supportive here and that. And it helps a lot to have people to talk to about these things and stuff. It just, yeah, just, just being inclusive. I just, I just, I like a place that I can feel good about my daughter learning about the world um, and a good lens to learn through it is God. McKenna the other day said um, she was very scared about going to kindergarten, which she's just started. And she's, I said, you'll never be alone. And she goes, God will always be with me. Is God with you in school, McKenna? Is God with you now? <laughs> <laughs>